I always think conspiracy is born of secrecy, which would make sense. If, some, if someone is constantly telling you, you can't know about that, you're going to naturally wonder what the hell's going on that I really can't know. What's so secret? Mm. I think that's a, a, nat, a, good, a good instinct of ours. And yes. so every any time I have been at the Pentagon, you know, or wherever asking about directed energy weapons, I it's really a they stop you. It's a stop. And so to find out more about that, I tracked down this was when I was reporting the Pentagon's brain a decade ago. The I thought to myself, okay, well if these guys won't talk to me, I'll find out who invented the laser. See if he will go to the smartest guy in the room. So Charles Towns, who won the Nobel Prize for inventing the laser, I called him what up. What year was that? This was in 2014, I believe. He there was wasn't in, lasers before 2014? No, no, no. He, oh, sorry. He, that's when I interviewed him. He oh, invented okay. the laser in, six, I think he won the Nobel Prize in 61 or 62. Okay. And he was 99 years old when I interviewed him, still keeping office hours at Berkeley. Wow. He, had his secretary on the line and gave this incredible interview. And I asked him about, um, you know, his development of the laser. But you want to hear, you might be interested in this. So he, he is the guy who invented the laser. I mean, when you really think about that. Mm -hmm. And he told me, I said, well, who do you go to when you're having trouble when you're Charles Towns? And he said, right. well, I took that particular idea to two colleagues, Einstein and von Neumann. Okay, well, that's interesting. Wow. I said, who said what? And he said, Einstein, this is when Towns was having trouble making it work. And he said that Einstein said, keep trying. And von Neumann said, it'll never, it'll never work. And I said, what do you make of that? And he said, well, Einstein was very generous of spirit. And he was always encouraging other scientists to think big and try. And von Neumann was the kind of scientist who believed if he didn't come up with it, it probably wasn't a good idea. Uh, ego. <laughs> but I love that because who else in the world like has those two people? Yeah. You know that they run ideas by. I mean, you know who you run ideas by, who I run ideas by. Yeah. Who Charles Towns? But here's another interesting thought about the laser: is Charles Towns, and he didn't share this fact for decades, but later in life he wrote. A lengthy article, I believe it was for Har the Harvard Alumni Magazine, that the idea for the laser came to him when he was sitting on a park bench from above. Whoa. Like how so? It was a religious experience for him. Like he'd been working on this problem. He'd been working on this science pro problem, according to Charles Towns. And by the way, he was inspired he told me, to develop the laser from the time he was a little kid in the 20s reading the Soviet science fiction novel, The Garin Death Ray. So it's like it was a science fiction concept, a laser. He's a little kid, Charles Towns, thinking about this, thinking about this, then all through his life continuing to think about it. then running it by his Einstein colleagues, and then can't make it work, can't make it work, is sitting on a park bench, and he gets the message from above. He, you know, made it sound very much like it was a religious experience for him. But he never wrote about it for a long time because particularly in the 60s and 70s, if you, you couldn't be a scientist and have faith at the same time, or at least you would be, you know, belittled or you'd be looked down upon, is what he said. That's interesting. So he was reluctant to say the inspiration behind his idea because he felt it was divine in nature. Bingo. And it's not just me he told this. You can read about this in that Harvard article. Um, and I think he wrote that when he was in his late 80s. But absolutely. So he was really making a plug for listening to whatever it is that guides you, mm. which is a very powerful statement. Right, whatever that is. 